Hi, my name is Katie Fowler, and I went to Taipei in 2012, coming up on 10 years now, and I went to Cactus Shadows High School up in Cave Creek, and now I am working back in Phoenix for a local TV station, Arizona's Family, and I want to wish a very happy anniversary to Phoenix Sister Cities, and I really hope that if someone's watching this video right now, maybe you're hesitant about um, applying or yeah, you're on the fence or someone sent you some videos saying, hey, check out this program. I really hope that I can compel you to apply. Take the plunge, go for it, you never know. It could be such an amazing, rewarding experience for you because it really was for me. If you're one of the lucky ones to get in and go to Taipei, what's cool is that Taiwan is such a small country that you're not just going to see Taipei, you're going to see the whole country. We went to the southern tip of Taiwan and we were riding our bikes down this road and we went to the beach and there were crystal blue, clear waters and it was so warm and I remember this rainbow popped up behind me and my counterpart Elise and we took a cute photo that I still have today and then we were riding our bikes again and it started to rain but the sun was still out and it was really warm and we were giggling and laughing and um, trying to get out of the rain and it was so much fun and went to uh, some tide pools and we were checking out the tide pools as the sun was setting and I just remember thinking wow this is probably the best day of my life. And to this day, it is something that I always talk about and I always think about really fondly. One thing that I learned when I got accepted and after doing the program was just how similar we all are around the world. And I learned that even though Elise and her friends speak a different language and they live in a different country, we're very similar. We were doing so many fun activities we went to the mall and we went ice skating and we did some like karaoke and um also what's cool in Taipei is they've got the night markets so i remember just like wandering around each stall and going down the aisles with the night markets and they're having me try all of the different taiwanese food including something called stinky tofu which yes it is very stinky but it's actually better than it might sound it really helped to um, wash everything down with uh, bubble tea or boba tea, which at the time, it wasn't popular in Phoenix to get a bubble tea. So I thought it was really cool that I could have one of those teas like every single day. There's also this a restaurant in Taipei called Modern Toilet and everything is toilet themed, everything's bathroom themed. So you sit on a toilet, you eat out of a toilet and it's ice cream so it's like really colorful big desserts and you eat at, I think I ate out of a urinal, um, the table was a bathtub, it was super unique and weird and one of the coolest things that I did there. The eating that you'll do in Taipei is just Elise and I still talk. Um, she's a teacher now, and um, in 2019, I spoke to one of her classes. Her students were learning English, so I Skyped in, and her kids were asking me some questions in English. Afterwards, we exchanged um, some care packages where they wrote me letters, and I wrote them back. And it was just, it was so cool. Be and, I, and I got to do that because of Sister Cities. So if you're applying or you're thinking about applying or maybe you got in and you're going to Taipei or you just want to talk about the program, you can email me and I would be more than happy to talk to you about my experience and what the program is like.